Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're going to check out a game that was generously gifted to me by Dr. A called Hue. And uh, I think it's like a puzzle platformer, sort of, with colors. Controller recommended, I do not have any controllers, we're gonna be using mouse and keyboard, and hopefully that's gonna work out okay. And, uh, yeah, I don't know much about this game. I remember seeing it a while back, and it didn't look too puzzly to me. I, I didn't really see the puzzle aspects of it from the trailer, but I guess we'll find out. Press any key to start. What if I hit escape? Uh... Oh, left-clicking works too, I, w I guess. Right. There is no menu, apparently. We have to hit- you have to actually start the game and hit escape to get a menu, which is interesting. There's restart level, which is kind of worrying. I'm always scared of games where you can trap yourself like that. Uh, look at the options and the audio. Okay, I've already turned those down a bit. Good. And there's credits, blah blah blah. Here are the controls, left, right. So we have WASD controls, we have space to jump, and we have an action on shift, and color wheel with the scroll wheel on our mouse. Good to know. Right, let's get started then. So there's jumping. There's nothing to the left, as far as I can tell, just a wall. I'm recording at 1080p60 for the first time. Hopefully, hopefully things turn out okay. We picked up. Dearest Hugh. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Gray tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Gray, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Interesting. So I remember most of that from the trailer that I saw a long time ago. What's going on here? So, we definitely don't want to jump down. I think that was just an introductory area, though. Like a dream or something. Wow, just immediately walk out of bed fully dressed. <laughs> I remember I used to sleep in bed fully dressed. I think I still do sometimes. Right. W. You know when you get really tired, you just wanna fall asleep without taking off your clothes. What's to the left? We've got a dock. Hello, sir. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Interesting, so left shift advances dialogue. What is this? I don't even know if I should go in left or right. What is this? Oh, we got a color or something. Aha! First color on our color ring is blue. Like, oh, is it nice? What happens if we jump into the water? That's pretty much what I expected. <laughs> oh, and we got an achievement apparently. Right. What happens? Can we talk to the fisherman now when we're when blue land? What do you have to say now? Whoa, the skies have cleared. What a beautiful day. Alright, apparently can we can I scroll yet? Is that a thing? I don't even I don't even have a mouse cursor on the screen, so I'm not sure what that's gonna be used for. Interesting. Bikes. All sorts of nice art. This is very nice art styles, very minimal. I do like minimal art styles. But we'll actually see how the puzzles turn out. From what I've seen, it's more of a platforming game than a puzzle game, but I guess we'll see. So does W up? Yes. So we can press up to enter doorways. And we can go back. Good to know. That's a neat transition. Anything to the left here that I should know about? Nothing in particular. Gotcha. Why, hello there, cutscene. Hello? Hugh, is that you? Thank goodness, I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises, it's creeping me out. Right. Oh, left click. Ah, so I can select... I'm not sure 
what I did there. I didn't know if I if I deselected or if I selected blue. Am I changing the background color? The rocks. They. They just disappeared. I don't know how you did it. Who cares? I'm saved. Thank you. So he's not even sure if he doesn't know how I did it, because he put a question mark at the end of that. So it seems the writing needs a little bit of tuning, perhaps. This is a game from 2016, and it's the end of 2000... Actually, it's 2018 now, yeah, so... <laughs> oh well. What do we have around here? Can we, I don't think we can go down in any direction here, right? Oh, and I, now I have a cursor on the screen, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't know... Looks like we're gonna have to get yellow before we can do go down here. That would be my guess. Interesting. Right. So. Click, and... I definitely have to select this. Yeah, so that changes the background color, and anything that's the same color as the background disappears. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. Interesting. This- this whole area is basically just designed for us to walk forward while we listen to the dialogue. Which is okay. It's- it's a very game-like thing to do. Right. What do we do here? Why, hello there! Who are you? Oh, hello there! You startled me. I'm just resting my legs. Don't play too close to the water now. Uh, have you not been trapped this entire time like the other guy said he was trapped? How did you get in here if the other guy was trapped for days? I have so many questions right now. Jump! Okay, our jump's not very good, evidently. Also, what happens if we change colors and then speak to her? So let's see. Oh, there's multiple dialogues! I should have checked! I always forget to check for more dialogue. I've heard there are caves through the waterfall. But apparently, they stretch for miles. I would never go myself, though. It's far too dangerous. Gotcha. Anything else? I come down here to collect water sometimes. It's much nicer than from the well. Isn't the sound of water relaxing? I could just sit here and listen all day. Anything else? Okay, so now it's finally looped. Gotcha. So now... Click. And select blue. As your dialogue change? No. Okay. Gotcha. Right. So that did make this block disappear, so now we can proceed. Hmm. Next. Alright. Interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. So if I click and hold, I can sort of see... where everything is. Huh. What happens if I stand here? Okay, now I can actually change colors. So it just doesn't let me change colors if something's gonna block me from doing it. I can't actually change color to black, though, as far as I can tell. And I can't move in this state. So I have to select a color, and the only color I have is blue. So, yeah. The default is black, but then after that you can't go back if you select another color. Strange. Okay, so this is another thing that we can do with left shift. Gotcha. Move that over there. And then... Uh, we don't need to change colors anymore, I guess. We don't have to hold shift to push, apparently. Hmm. So we actually wanna- we actually wanna pull it back, and then pull it from the other side, because we need to be able to get up here on top. Gotcha. And then we pull it from this side. There we go. And then that should allow us to make this jump, right? Yep. Just barely. Gotcha. Ooh, we definitely don't want to crush ourselves, but just for fun, let's- let's go ahead and do it. Crush. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that is quite- that is quite a death animation, isn't it? Well then, um... So I think what we want to do is move this back out of the way so that we can jump over it. And now I can't do anything. That's weird. What is... That weird 
slide to the right is very strange. Hmm. Got a little wood of here that I can't actually do what I'm trying to do here. And... Okay, I thought I trapped myself there. So if we do... What do I- what exactly do I want to do here? Maybe just... like this? And then... change color? Okay, so that does work, and then I can make the jump. Excellent. Good. Oh, what do we have going on here? Looks like that's gonna allow us to get up to the ladder once we get a different color, but right now, we don't have a different color, so we have to do things... this way. So I'm guessing we're gonna get a new color very soon. So, if we go all the way back up here... Let those guys roll down, we should be able to jump across them, right? Yeah? Seems pretty straightforward. Gotcha. Oh goodness, that's uh... Hmm, yes that is a lot of danger, I would say. Alright. Oh, we can just jump up the ladder, good. And then we just walk across these, and jump up here. There's another ladder up there, as you can see. Interesting, we'll need to come back for that. Hmm. So this is like, we're gonna have to run pretty quick here. RUN! Oh, okay, that didn't quite work out how I was hoping it would. I wonder if we can jump over it or not. Let's, let's find out. No, any contact with it while it's in motion results in death. That's disappointing. Huh, I can't, like, hang back. Nope, it hits me there as well. Ouch. So I guess I just have to run away from it, in that case. Get off the ladder, kid. Oh, I forgot there were spikes there, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try this again, please. Jump over that. Oh, and I fell directly onto spikes in my haste. Do I really just have to run away from it like this? That's kind of annoying. I thought this was a puzzle game, not a run away from stuff platformer game. But no, really, I do hope that we actually get some puzzles and not just platforming challenges. Oh, and, uh, yeah, okay then. So, at this point it's turning to memorize the platforms, which is not something I'm a fan of, but... Who knows, maybe this is just the tutorial section that they did work too hard on. There we go. Landed there. What does this do for me? One out of 28 of... test tubes, I guess. Hey look, it's safe now. Now we can go all the way back up. Jump over all the spikes and everything. This kid can jump off from a ladder, that's, that's impressive. I do not have the upper body strength to jump off from a ladder like this. Like, he doesn't stand on the top rungs, he just- he just jumps. I'm glad he didn't accidentally go through the doorway and reset everything, that would've been annoying. So we can jump up through these, that's good to know. Why, hello there, who are you? And you're just going away, being all creepy-like. Tra classic, traditional, standard video game experience. And the camera zooms out. Look at this. Lovely art. Hey, there's a new color! Ta-da! New color acquired. And that is not where I expected it to end up. I guess... Oh, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Huh. Interesting, so like, I'm still moving, even though... Am I just like, coasting down the stairs? What is- So I'm holding left click right now to bring up this. Am I- am I just gonna keep moving automatically forever? That's kind of weird, if so. Well, these make different sounds, that's nice. So we can't see the doorway in purple zone, I guess. We can here. So, here's a question. I want to go back, because I think we can go back. I believe we can. So let's go back, and see if I can unlock any secrets by going back. I'm sure that door might just take us back the way we came, but... I want to do things my way, and explore, and go back. 
And oh my goodness, this run animation is extremely slow. There we go. Go back? Yes, I would like to go back, actually. I'm glad that they gave me an option, so let's see here. Get out of here. Interesting, so they actually remind you that you're going back, and they ask you if you're sure. Oh, can I actually go back from here, though? I don't think I can. Huh. Well... Let's try this, then. Oops! <laughs> Come on! Oh no, I may have made a big mistake just now. Um... Come on! Let me go back. I might have totally screwed myself. Come on! <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. Is this- do I have to do all of this all over- all over again? Let's see here. They won't let me go back now, <laughs> because of this thing killing me too quickly. Well, that's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? Huh. Hey! Fancy that. How did that not work the first time I tried it? see here. Yes, I can jump up on these now. Here we go, this is what I wanted. Let's see what's up here, shall we? Aha! It is a secret collectible. Gotcha. Hmm. So now the problem is, I don't think I can actually go back further than that. Yeah, I can't actually go back any further than this. I can't get into that doorway. So, we do need to go forward from here from now on. And let's see if I can pull this off again. Oh, come on! How did I do it that one time? There we go. That works. No. I wanna jump on the ladder, please. Alright, now, let's go forward in this huge zoomed-out area. Can you run any faster than that? Is this- is this your maximum speed? Does jumping help? No, jumping does not help. Alright, let's just run over here to this other doorway. I don't think there's anything else in this special room except for the color. And now we shall continue the game going forward. There we go. Did you know, Hugh? That purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum. It's the hardest colour for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. Ultraviolet? A colour beyond what we can actually perceive. Ultraviolet? We call these impossible colours. Uh, that's not what an impossible colour is. And I fear that this... This is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or... Or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but... Existing in this strange state of impermanence... Does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question... What is real? Okay, so the thing is, impossible colors are things like yellow-blue. Yellow-blue is an impossible color, because there's no way that you can combine blue and yellow. But uh, if you have one eye seen blue and the other eye seen yellow, you can kind of... kind of see it. It's just, it doesn't actually exist. It's a weird cross of your perception. But, uh, yeah, there are definitely not impossible colors the way that the narrator just described. The person writing the letter does not actually understand what impossible colors are. Right, so this is a... So we actually have to walk, because jumping would lead us into these spikes. Gotcha. It's just teaching us how to quickly switch col- Oh! I thought I did that right, evidently not. Let's try this again, shall we? That is a long reload time on the- on the death. And... did it! There we go. Right. Now they're making us make choices. Uh... Oh! Good thing the camera pans down! Jeez! Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot those were there, didn't I? 
So it's nice that when you're choosing colors, you can see all the colors because it defaults to black while you're choosing. But you can't pick black, you have to pick a color. So there's a doorway over there, and there's a box here, so let's just do this for now. Ah, uh, hmm. How do I get around this box and push it the way I want to? That is a question and a half, I think. Oh, come on! Are you serious right now? <laughs> Oh man, you put me all the way back at the start. Why? Why would you design it that way? Oh, can I stand here? Oh, I see, cause the- okay, I see. I didn't realize- yeah. The box is colored so I can walk behind it. There we go. That's what the puzzle's trying to teach me. I mean the tutorial, not puzzle. Let's get- oh, get rid of those. Bring them back. Jump across. Jump to this one. Jump to this one. Oh, ooh, careful. Careful now. Ooh. And jump over here. And we need this so we can see the door, right? Gotcha. So those where- that's where everything is. Gotcha. So, to start... I like how it doesn't bring up the color wheel. If we- if- even though we can choose other colors, if we're standing in a color, if we're standing overlapping something, it doesn't let us pick any color, even if we would pick a color to make it disappear. Weird. I guess that kind of makes sense, but whatever. But if I bring it up early, then it lets me do it? Oh, and then it goes away. I see. There we go. That's what we wanted. that, and what else do we have to work with? If we want to go in this direction, and then do this. Uh-huh. Do that. Do that. And do this. Oh my gosh, come on. This is- this is kind of frustrating, I have to say. I don't know if it would be any better on a controller, though be honest. There we go. And yes, I can make that jump. Alright. Hello there again. Would you like to speak to me, or are you just gonna stare at me and then walk away like you always do? Yep, I figured. Stare at me and walk away like you always do. And the camera pans back, and then we gain control again. And new color! Orange. Got it. I didn't really see anywhere back in the previous rooms where we needed orange, so I'm just gonna not go back this time. Hopefully I don't miss anything. There's the doorway. Let's get out of here. Interesting. So we actually can't go forward if we- if we have anything other than orange. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Interesting. Alright, what do we have here? Not much. The reason I keep clicking like this every so often is because I want to see what all is around me, and the easiest way to do that is to have it show black as the background.
Oh, hey, we're back here. Ah, yes. I know where we are. Let's go through here real quick. I think there was somewhere... Somewhere that I'd missed something. Let's see... Do that. Uh, no, this one's just a long corridor. Okay, never mind. I think we got everything that I needed to get. No, 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 I, there is something I missed. I need to go all this long way again. Is this seriously the maximum movement speed? Aha, uh -huh, here's something I can do now. This isn't even what I was thinking of, but it's still something I can do now. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh, look at that! Whee! No fall damage. Excellent. So this kid gets crushed by walking on top of a boulder, but no fall damage, because that makes sense. I think there was a ladder that we could get to if we go over in this direction. I'm not necessarily trying to get 100%, I'm just trying to get as much as I can that I know about. Right, in this direction... Hello again. What do we have here? I actually can't get up there as far as I can tell. Yeah, alright. There is something over in this direction, and then we have to head back. I'm pretty sure there's something in this direction, right? I remember there being... ...an area... Right, let's do this. I am pretty sure, unless I've passed it, that there was an area that I could get to. Come on, let's do this again. I'm pretty sure it's through this doorway. That's weird. How could I drag it for a second and then stop dragging it? Strange. No, maybe it's through the next doorway? This. Gotcha. Here we go, this is what I was talking about. This is where I wanted to be. So, we need to switch to blue, we need to jump across, and then we get to the other side, we need to not go through the doorway, and instead... There we go. This is what I wanted to get back to earlier. There we go, now is there a way... There's a map. Can I fast travel? Oh, it tells me all the stuff I've missed, that's nice. Is this the beginning? No! What?! All current progress will be lost! Hold on a second. Uh... Let's go here. Let's- let's see what happens. Where has this put me? map. I still have all the stuff I collected. Um... I'm sure this is where I want to be, right? I think so. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Excellent, this is exactly- okay, good. So there is fast travel, I just didn't know about it until now. Yellow. Okay then, and a red. So, yeah, the world's definitely opening up to us now. Yep, okay. Can't get up there. Nothing around here. And gray stuff is just always visible. Gotcha. Right. I think that is enough for the first episode. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!